Nice. And then they redraw. Can you guys? That's it's the only way. It's rolling now, uh, and I'm not, not going to be here because I have to go to the live transmission. Okay. So, but anything is, you can mess. Yeah. So I might be staying up like this that. This doesn't work this way. Use that side of it. Of course it's a voluntary action. Right. That doesn't have anything to do with the fact you cannot charge an entry fee for some people and for someone else where they have different equities at the point of paying the entry fee. That is the most fundamental principle of no, tournaments. No, but you realize you as a player, as a participant of tournament, already established a record, and that's a losing record. So in a way you are paying a penalty, right? Because this ad additional money that you are paying gives you a chance to start and undefeated, which pays a lot more money to the winner, correct? No, but in my case, I just didn't play at 3, I only played at 5.30. Me too. We started out with less equity than the people who played in correct, the game. Correct. That's not, not allowed. There's no tournament that can run that way. I mean, you, every tournament that has a buy runs that way. No, because you paid the same in the beginning. You had an equal chance for the buy. You never, at the point of purchase, have less equity than someone else when you purchased. I, I'm 100% sure of this. You know I've written extensively about backgammon. So wait a second. I understand so, tournament so structure. You are saying that you did not enter initially? You I entered. did not enter initially, correct. I only entered at the rebuy stage. I have my... I have my... Sting. Okay. See, I did not know that. Now, no, but it has nothing to do with that. It's just this is a forbidden no, tournament structure. No, here's the thing. No, it makes a whole big difference. I did not know that you did not enter initially. Because initially, everyone who entered had the exact chance to get the buy. Now, you enter later, yes, that's a bad deal. I don't understand what you're saying. But it doesn't matter for me. Those guys who give their money again, right? they have to have an equal chance to get the buy. So Otherwise, they should be charged a different price. Not again. I don't agree with the again. But if somebody entered for the first time at 5.30, yes, they should have a chance yes. to. But if they already lost once, I don't agree. So, anyway. So I kind of This isn't the correct way to do the rebuy tournament. I don't think we can do anything about it, honestly. Are you okay with using the battle block? I don't care. Whatever you want. Great. Cheers. So, one set of dice? Uh, so, we just... You are the blue one. I'm always the blue. Do we need the cups? Uh, you don't need to. Okay. I just try to minimize my usage of my right arm. No worries, I understand. You shouldn't be in a position ever in a backgammon tournament where you've paid a different price for something than someone else at well, was. Price the is the same, but equity is different. I hear you. No, you're paying a price for an amount of equity. He's differentially raking it, essentially. The only problem is, again, none of these are initially advertised. We are kind of basically taking what we are given. We did Nobody not know. says it's a rebuy tournament, so then it should be a rebuy tournament. If we want to take a smoke break at some time and look at the fireworks a little, that'd be nice. Well. What is the reason for the fireworks? They have it every year. It's the Concours uh, du Feu d'Artifice. Uh, every year, that each country contributes some, uh, like a firework team. It's the two Saturdays at the end of, of July and the two Saturdays at the beginning of August. Interesting. Yeah. They're very good. I mean, it's it's James right now during the tournament. Jeez, I certainly wouldn't. <laughs> Thank you.
My board? Oh, so you all understand.
I gave it to you too. Thanks, like thanks. Not even the uh, reason to uh, give it to you. Uh, that was absolutely insane. Yeah, crazy stuff happening, man. <laughs> I, I probably missed so many doubles, re doubles. That right? was insane. That's crazy. You know, it's so funny. Oh, I'm in. Five. You know, we worry about all the potential. No, no, they're just the moral things. You no, can, I understand. You can't have that. an entry fee, which is not the same. No, I understand that. I understand that. You can ask Victor, you can ask Mochi, you can ask anyone. No, I understand that stuff. Just, this game is such a. 
but they're called the game. For sure, for sure, for sure. What's crazy stuff happening here? Uh, that is true. Essentially what it is, I'm sorry, it's just frustrating me. You can't have a tournament where different players' entry fees are rated differently. Imagine a tournament where you and I, if we pay at a different time of the day, 80% goes in the prize pool and 20% they take for themselves, or 90% goes in the prize pool and 10% goes for themselves. We wouldn't consider that a fair tournament. That's what this is. You have more equity in what you paid for your 500 euros initially than in the rebuy where you paid the same 500 euros. And that's not acceptable. I understand what you're saying. It's absolutely Especially, especially, yours is not a rebuy, right? It, gets, it counts as a rebuy. So you did not lose in this event yet? No, no. So that's the problem. So they are trying to add more bodies to the tank. But see, you can't look at it this way. Event was announced at 3 p.m., right? And we missed our flight, so we were going to land at 3 o'clock. We tried everything. Yeah. I was going to miss the main, so I was going to yeah. enter just like you entered. And, you know, that would have been a big handicap in two different ways, and now it's a big another thing. So had you entered at 3 p.m., it would have been a less of a disadvantage. Now it's a major disadvantage. I understand what you're saying. Um, that's, I would say, the fundamental principle of backgammon tournaments. Any tournament. Is that even though we know that the organizer takes, say, 10%, right. he doesn't take different in equity terms from different players based on their skin color, based on what time they enter, based on if they're strong or weak players. You know, everyone has the same amount of equity when they pay their well, again, I think that that's the fundamental principle of any tournament. I'll, I'll roll now. You just have to, yeah. yeah. We can talk about it when we're sure, watching. Sure, exactly. But that somehow morally upsets me if, if I understand. you don't. I understand. And there's also an ethical problem. Wow. What a game this has been. Oh, 
These games have been mind fucking bad. No, make me feel that you know you don't realize what you don't know until the positions arise. <laughs> which, how many recubes I probably missed? You were probably dropping it when I was. Before. No, 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 no. I agree. With never, you. Uh, never, never dropping. Never dropping. I might have had one that you would take. One that might have been correct, and I would take. I was never dropping. When I had the one guy here, and I had like three rolls to roll a six. Yeah, I was not that. And I did the right thing again. Thank you. <laughs> Previous game also, I don't know if I gave you extra rolls. that I can't roll. Way, they just have to make no rebuts. It's like really simple, you know. It's just a regular tournament. There are no rebuts. Uh, yeah, I don't know what he was trying to say, but he doesn't understand the maths. I don't think that's what I think the issue is. Arda and I are good friends. Mm -hmm. I just don't think he understands the math. But there's a different way to get it. If I give you an indirect six, you might hit it. If I give you a direct, then there's no way. 
Hold on, hold on. One, two, three, she said. How do you do one, two, three? One, two, three. Okay. I know, I know, I know. Good job. Thank you. So you got stung swimming? I did, yes. Check after it out. We, oh, after we talked, yeah? Yeah, check it out. Yeah. I told Blake it's crazy. I swimming, I told Don't. Go in the pool. <laughs> well, you can okay. go in where it's netting. Sure, no? go in the netting, yeah. Go on, stay on the inside of the yeah, netting. Yeah, stay on the inside of the netting. Yeah, I, I didn't think it through properly. I'll just go to one side of the netting and swim all the way across the beach to the other side. Maybe if you don't throw a six again, we can have Exactly, the same thing. yeah, yeah, exactly. I certainly didn't think you'd close you close out those points from there. Well, actually, you know what? I'm gonna have to risk it for myself. Okay. That's a bold move, my man. No. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember the two four I still.
When I saw the three, I was like, <laughs> can it be one? These the nice guys. You don't have to get that either. <laughs> Sometimes, like we both rolled our own dice, they are supposed to. Well, what we just said blue is always me and yellow is always okay. So that's what I thought we said. No, no, but what is the right way to do there it? There is no right way. There's no etiquette. So you can yet. draw it, throw it you could, you one could, person. You can throw them both. I can throw them both. We could each throw them either. That's fine. You're always white, and you're wrong. Okay, okay. I rolled three two. Yeah. Take the heat over cold and many, many more water months, you know? Okay. I like it. I'm unique. <laughs> cold comes with many other issues traffic, sickness. Hmm. Less traffic in New York than in the cold, actually. Traffic is more in the summer. I mean, it, messes, it makes the traffic 
more crispy. <laughs> well said. Especially, well, this in New York, they are used to it. Not in Dallas. Yeah, definitely better than some other numbers. Better than at sixes. You're not good at sixes. What's the here? Yeah. Yeah. Remember? No, not direct. Yeah. <laughs> You're very good at indirect. Maybe I'll leave nothing then, in that case. Exactly. <laughs> I think even though it was a bad shot, you're still favorite in the game. I'm going to lose that one. I'm glad I did not.
Show me the move again. I mean, it's just so long. You, you entered with one, is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. All good. All good. Sorry.
Exactly. I have one number. Yes, I know. Because of the bullshit way that he's d he d he does I guess it. that kind of makes more sense now. No, he should have just had the extra round. Now, what what he said is completely wrong. You know what I mean? He, of course, it can be done. Of course, There's it can only be done. Like three three tails playing. No, it's absurd. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
I figured out a way that he can do it. He just has to charge a different price. If he charges the fair equity price, it solves the problem. He can run the That's problem. how they do it in most tournaments. Like even, even in Vegas. Right, but if he just charges the fair equity price, That's not, what I'm saying. not the non-consolation price, the guaranteed non-buy price, because you can figure out exactly how many, how, how much likelihood there was of getting a buy, right. and then what the likelihood of not getting the buy is, and then refund the entry fee. Right. It's the only fair way. So, I will propose this to him. I told him about this before. Last year I was very unhappy. It didn't affect me last year. I just was unhappy because I'm unhappy if someone yeah, else is it. Yeah, exactly. But this can be solved. Yeah, it can be solved. You're right. I just they, figured, I figured out the math right now. Yeah, if, if they're going to run it this way, for sure. Okay, now I'm finally starting. Now I'm in the match now. <laughs> is that worth like five points? <laughs> it's worth at least 5%. Yeah, it's a joke, five points, you know, oh. <laughs> like that I have. 
I think that probably bumps you to 55%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I meant five points of the score. <laughs> well, see, I don't know sometimes. I'll do this. Scary when I don't hit the three. Oh, and now I don't know what to do. <laughs> good play, good play. I guess I'm gonna go like this. So we don't, you don't throw a direct six. Well, I rolled one and I kind of wasted it. Now it's. Yep. That, that's par for the course. You're double five when you need a six. Exactly. Still got another one, I guess. Pass. I rolled both. Okay. It's always covered. I thought you were absolutely dead. <laughs> I know, I know. It looks down the rough. Well. Four, two, four, two. <laughs> go for 
Eventually, I have to. Hmm, that's interesting. Well, 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 well.
so funny. It is this funny. is really like a, a game of just. Uh, Well, good news and bad news. Two six. Like the injustice in the tournament is just so. Uh, what is the injustice here? Well, who, 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 who can I question these guys? You know? I, I accept this injustice whether no, I win or lose. I don't, I don't like, accept that. I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like any of injustice. Okay. <laughs> it's an honorable man. Thank you, thank you. Wild stuff. Wild stuff. That was pretty wild. That was wild. Thank you. 
is just becoming very trying. How many chances I had to cover them? Yeah, probably have to bounce back out each time. If it doesn't help to the score, then it's yeah, no good for nothing. You're white.
Do it or not do it. paper if I didn't do it he would have hit me. Wild stuff happening man. I guess I need a double six to get off from My buddy is going to bring you a thing in the morning, if that's okay. Sure. Yeah. How did that happen? I got, I mean, I got stung. No, but like, did you see them or did you just no. felt like a crazy bite? or? just what? felt like a crazy sting, yeah. What kind of a feeling? Like, like you're being electrocuted. Really? It's very, very intense. I never experienced anything in my life. Very, very so It is an electric shock. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was intense. But what's happening is technically biological, right? Do they, do they actually have electric? It, it's, it's venom. Or oh, like okay. Uh, are you swimming in this special beach that's supposed to be like protected from the jellyfish like they have? And they still get in there, huh? Well, I was beyond the barrier. Oh, okay. But I mean, I've been to this tournament 13 out of the last 17 years. Really? I do the same swim that I always do. Uh huh. It's never happened to me before, but it's because of the global warming. Is it a nice beach? It's a nice oh, yeah, it's water? It's very pleasant. Does it get deep or...? No. 
I mean, you can't stand, but it's not super deep. Okay. You can stand for the first few feet. Only, but it's, I mean, it's a, it's a regular Mediterranean beach. It's a rock beach, it's pleasant. Oh, rock stuff, okay. We have, uh, you know, I'm from Turkey originally, and the beaches uh, that we have are, some of them are ridiculous. You can go half a mile, and it gets this deep, so which is it's frustrating. Um, and is that in the... In the phosphorus, or no, no, the phosphorus is in in, in the Aegean. Uh, in the Aegean, actually, in the Mediterranean. 